Hey there guys, I am Sonic Ghost and welcome back to some more Let's Play Yoshi's Woolly World. Last time we finished up World 1 by completing our first special level of the game, and we unlocked ourselves Wii U Deluxe Yoshi, also known as the console that is gathering dust Yoshi. It's sad, the Wii U is such a good console, but with most of its library at this point being ported to the 3DS and the Switch, it doesn't really get used by many people all that much anymore. Sad. But uh, in this episode, we're not going to dwell on the fact that the Wii U didn't really do all that great. We're going to go ahead and start our next world in the game, World 2. Starting off here, we have World 2-1, Across the Fluttery Dunes. And this one, I'm going to go ahead and go with some big old yarn balls. Why not? I got the beads for it. I might as well just get me some big balls. So, World 2 here is going to be a very interesting world because this is the desert world, so... If you played any Nintendo game, you know the tropes by now with Nintendo worlds and games. It usually goes as the world 2 is your desert world. So we're going to have a lot of levels here that's going to either be based off of, you know, the desert's aesthetic like we got here. Or it might be volcano based because they sometimes like to throw the hot world in with the desert world. They just mix the two. And that is no exception here. That's definitely going to happen. But in particular... World 2 actually has a lot of maze-like levels, and you'll see what I'm talking about here later on in the world, but for now, things are going to be starting pretty calm here. We got a nice linear level here, so nothing really all that out of the ordinary compared to what we've been playing already. So right here, going to want to jump in this very specific spot because Hidden Cloud gives you a flower. That's one of the easier flowers in this level to miss, so be very careful of that one. That one's definitely something you want to keep an eye on. Here we've got this piranha plant just kind of sitting here in a pipe. But as you can see, we've got a whole bunch of green pipes. But then we have this random blue pipe. Going up the blue pipe here reveals a secret area. And in here, we got ourselves our first batch of wool. So let's go ahead and grab our yarn balls here. And get out of here. Gonna give me some more of these shy guy eggs. Come on, buddy. Jump up. Thank you. And let's get out of here. I could have made that platform on the right side, but we're done that area, so... No real need to waste some yarn ball eggs. I'm going to just keep what I got. So here, I'm actually just going to throw this guy down. Eat the egg. And let me have another shy guy. This section, as you can see, they love to throw piranha plants in here. So that's why they put all these shy guys here, is in case you don't really have that many eggs already. And that's a good thing, because as you can tell, there's a lot of enemies you got to deal with. So it really does help to have big yarn balls in this section. That way you can go ahead and keep a lot of your yarn balls. Makes things a lot easier. But we're done in that section. Jump over here, I believe. Somewhere in this section. There it is. Hidden Cloud has some beads. One of them is our Miiver stamp bead, so we're going to need that. And let's go ahead and hit our checkpoint. There's a lot of little patches just like this one here that just reveal beads. They're not important, but it helps to have some extra beads. Here we got to wait for the platforms to move around. And conveniently for us, while waiting, there is a hidden cloud, so hit that while we wait to get ourselves some more beads. Another one of the stamp beads in particular we needed. Got ourselves our hidden little thing of yarn. That is actually called Wonderwall. I haven't mentioned it up to this point, but that's technically the official name, Wonderwall. I always just call it just yarn balls at that point. It, it doesn't really matter. It's the same thing. But we got our bundle of wool. Here we got some new enemies here, these little spiky guys. You can't kill them unless they run into each other. So this guy here, if I just throw an egg at him, he just rolls around. You can also use Yoshi's tongue to knock these guys around as well. But that's really all you can do with these guys. So unless there's a friend next to him, another spiky enemy, there's no way you're killing these guys. Here I'm going to throw three eggs. And as you can see, we activate three things. We got our door from the next area. We got ourselves some extra hearts. And then more importantly, we activated the rippling effect here on the platform, so now we can move up and down, which is important because that not only reveals that cloud, but there is a hidden cloud right here we want to go ahead and hit, which reveals another door. Take the bottom door. Don't even worry about that top one, because that top one leads you to the exact same place that this one will, but if you take the bottom door in particular, it'll lead you to a flower. So you need to take that bottom door. If you want 100% completion, you need that door. If you don't care, just go ahead and take the top door. Doesn't really matter. Get rid of this piranha plant here. Get him out. Throw an egg up here. And we got ourselves a switch. You need to hit this switch in order to activate these platforms. And to also stop this ripple effect too. 
because you need to actually stop this platform from moving up and down. It's the only way to get through this section. Unfortunately, I don't really have enough time because I'm wanting to take my time around this area and just explore. I'm trying to see if we can find some things to collect. So I kind of need to hit the switch again. That's not too big of a deal, simply just because you can come back here and hit the switch as many times as you want. So there's no real penalty for not being able to make a cycle, you just have to backtrack all the way back around to where the switch is. And that's it. There we go, we killed that piranha plant and it led to a trail of beads, which gave us another thing of wool. Then we only need one more batch of wool to make our new Yoshi, and that's not bad, we're getting near the end of the level. Guess there was an enemy over here because it turned to a heart, that's interesting. That was a nice shot. I don't know why this game is hitching so much. You might be noticing it if you're watching this video in 60 frames. I don't know if it shows up as well if you're watching in 30. But this game is hiccuping a lot for me right now. I don't know why, but every time I turn around, the game just randomly pauses and unpauses itself like that. Like, there, there you go. There's a good example of the hitching. I don't know why that's happening. That's a little weird. Uh, it's a little jarring, in my opinion, when I see a game do that. But it, this shouldn't be that bad here. Just gotta go ahead. Push back the little spike enemies into the piranha plants. You can go ahead and throw an egg if you have eggs, but just keep on tonguing the little spike guy and it'll actually move over to where the piranha plant is. So that makes that way easier on me. I can save my eggs. Which is good because I need some here. In fact, I'm probably gonna have to wait here a moment and grind eggs. Because I don't have anything and I want eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the switch while I wait for more shy guys. So here, you want to collect every single bead. Doesn't matter if you care about beads or not, collect them all. Simply because if you do so, get yourself your final piece of wool. So there you go, that's everything we needed there for the wool. But we still have one more Miiverse stamp to collect and also one more flower to get too. Scratch that, we only need one more flower. And looks like we have a hidden cloud and hey, it's our flower. Wow, we got everything then. So at this point, we just need to beat the level. We even have all the hearts. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that piranha plant there. You can just munch away. He's not really in my way, just leave him alone. All right, let's get out of here. Down by grain between the two flowers, so no bonus game for me. That was close, but not close enough. Yeah, that's pretty good. First level world two, and we already got everything in one run. That's a pretty good start of the episode, I do say. So let's just go ahead and move straight into our next level. And remember at the beginning of this level when I said World 2 is more of a maze world? Well, this next level is going to be our example of that. It's going to be our first maze level here in World 2. But first things first, let's go ahead and knit together our Yoshi. We have unlocked the Safari Yoshi. It's kind of like a camo look because of all the spots on the Yoshi. A little interesting looking and also a little weird. But, it's a cool Yoshi regardless. Let's go ahead and swap to him. And now time to go into level 2-2. The Duplicitous Delve. And here, I'm just going to go ahead and go in without a badge. You'll see why here in a moment, but there is one space here that having a big yarn ball is not going to make things any easier on me. So in this level, as soon as we get in, you're going to notice a cool little effect here. You see those beads? We can't collect them. That's because if you enter this door, you flip around perspective. This level likes to do that a lot. You're gonna flip flop back and forth between the foreground and the background. It's a really cool effect, I do like it. I'm gonna go ahead and just get me some extra yarn ball eggs here. So get me some extra eggs and I walk away from the one on the ground. So now that we can go ahead and see between the foreground and the background, this is going to tell us where a lot of the items are in the level. And that makes things a little bit easier when it comes to 100% completion. Because if you just pay attention to your background and foreground here, you'll get an idea of where your collectibles are. And I do like that touch. It's very nice and it does really work with the level's aesthetic. And in fact, Yoshi's Crafted World, the next Yoshi game made by Good Feel, this is pretty much the whole premise of the game because a lot of levels in that game flip back and forth between perspectives as well. Which is a very interesting idea. I do like it when games decide that, hey, you know what? Let's just go ahead and mess with the player and make both the background and foreground, or maybe even more of it, interactable. I think that's a cool idea, in all honesty. 
Super Paper Mario does that a lot as well, where you flip between playing the game in a 2D perspective and a 3D perspective. And it's a really neat idea. And right here, we want to go ahead and throw an egg in that little hole because we did see that flower from the other side. So, throwing an egg through there makes it very easy to get that flower. I didn't want to go through this door right away, but alright, I guess we're in here now. That's fine. So, I want to jump up here, get myself flower and some beads, which has a stamp. Oh, wait, I missed something. Go back. You can kind of see it there before I transition backwards. There's some beads there, and one of them had a stamp, so I kind of needed to go back. Now, right here, this section, if you have big yarn balls, this puzzle does not work at all. If you have big yarn balls, they will just bounce around the ceiling. They'll never get the perfect angle. They'll bounce into that little crevice. So, yeah, I'm very glad I didn't have the big yarn ball badge for this level, just because of that one puzzle. That one puzzle kind of makes it impossible to deal with. So, I recommend use anything but the big yarn ball uh, patch for this level, just because of that puzzle alone. At this point, we could swap to it if we want, but I'm just going to go ahead and rock the no badge. Well, we got ourselves Mole Yoshi. We press the Y button, we can go ahead and dig through the ground. So that's pretty simple. All you gotta do is just dig, dig, dig. And you control your direction while you're digging by just moving around on the control stick or D-pad, depending on your controller. And that's pretty much all you do. If you want to move faster, just keep on pressing the Y button to dig. You don't want to just leave that button. Even when there's nothing in front of you, just mash it anyways, because Yoshi does move faster when he's digging. So just keep on digging here. As you can see, we got these tougher patches of ground we gotta dig through. You have to hit the wall three times before it bursts open. So it does take a little bit longer, but it's not really that bad, to be honest. Just keep on mashing the Y button, and then you'll get through it, no problem. Unfortunately, when you do hit enemies in this state, it does kind of make Yoshi stop for a quick sec, so try to avoid enemies at all costs. It's not really a penalty, you don't really lose health, but it does slow you down just enough where things can become a little bit harder for you to complete. So... Just do your best to avoid enemies in the mole section. But here, we're going to just go ahead and wait for these platforms to move around here a bit. want to get in between these two down below, hit this uh, cloud to reveal a flower. And I'm going to go ahead and grab more beads. I'm going to make my way into here. Give me some more eggs. Make sure there's nothing here. I don't think there is. Nope, looks like we're all good. Alright, now we got to wait for this block to move so I can leave. Come on, buddy. Get out of my way. Oh, that's a little too close for comfort. That's the one nice thing about being able to see in the background is you can also see these little happy stones move around. I don't even know what these guys are officially called, but I like the name happy stones. Look at them. They got such a big happy grin. But being able to see them in the background really does help. So if you're worried that you might get crushed... Just look in the background here, and then you can see, all right, how close is that thing? Are those blocks about ready to hit me, or are they far enough away where it's not going to be a problem? That's the one nice thing. I haven't even mentioned it yet, but we have these little mouse enemies all throughout this level. And these little mice, they like to steal your eggs. And the best way to take care of them is just to eat them as soon as they get close. So that's the strategy with those guys. Just eat them. Here, I actually want to jump up here, because if you get close enough, you're going to reveal those platforms. Trust me, you're going to want to hit them from the bottom like that. You'll see why here in a moment. But just doing that now makes things a lot easier. So here we got a hidden cloud we want to go ahead and reveal. And as soon as we hit it, there's another one right above us. It has some hearts, so it's not really that big of a deal if you don't need the help. But as soon as we transition back into the foreground, we got ourselves our final thing of wool, so now we got the Yoshi made for the level. Now we just gotta complete the level and find the rest of the stuff. So let's just make our way back into the room we just came from, bounce back on this little area, and let's go left this time. So up here, as you can see, we have to navigate this little platform area, and this is why I said hit those platforms from below. If you make it up there, you're gonna reveal the platforms and then just fall straight down. This is why I recommend you hit that stuff from below, then you just save yourself a whole bunch of time. It makes things a lot easier. Also, these mice are endless here, so just hurry. If you don't want to deal with these guys or lose any of your hearts at the literal ending stretch. I mean, look, they're, they're following me to the goal. You want, you want to cross the finish line too? All right, let's go. Thanks, guys. You got so close that I got your beads. You didn't stand a chance. 
But that was the level. And we got ourselves the bonus game, too. Wonder what kind of bonus game we'll get. We'll have to see. Well, that's 100%. We got everything to the level. So, with that said, let's go ahead and play our bonus. And this bonus game is a repeat. Great. We can actually start seeing a new bonus game here in this world. I was hoping we would have got it, but unfortunately, uh, we got a repeat. So, yeah, not what I thought it was. So I need more eggs, like now. There we go. Keep on throwing up. Of high set up, and Yoshi just threw straight down. Ah, you gotta be kidding me. I almost made that last one, too. It wouldn't have mattered, because if I got those last thing of fruit at one second, the new thing of fruit would have came out, and I would have still had another second. Because when you clear a row, you do get extra time to play the minigame. But you don't get that much extra time. It's like a second or two extra. So, really, that wouldn't have mattered much in all regard because I wouldn't have gotten anything extra after that. But there you go. We got ourselves some more stamps. We got over 220 of these bad guys now. So, now we got some more stamps we could have used on Meavers if it still existed. Cinnamon Yoshi, you gotta help cheer me up from my depression of Meavers being dead. I'll rather play with you to Meavers right now. It doesn't even work. Load it up, it gives me an error. You don't give me an error, Cinnamon. Which I'm glad. Unfortunately, though, I'm going to have to save your usage for the next episode. Next time on Let's Play Yoshi's Woolly World, we'll be making our way into our next level here of World 2. Level 2-3. If it looks at things, we got a familiar friend from the Mario Universe, so this one's going to be an interesting level. I'll see you guys next time.